Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to my channel, Warrior 65. May 11th, 2024, and look what I got. Yep, I said I was going to get on my roof, and it's been completed. That was done uh, a couple days ago by my neighbor and somebody else. So I'm very happy with it. it looks great. So I'm up here basically overnight. It's a Saturday afternoon. And come up here to turn on the water and to uh, pay my neighbor for doing this for me. And it looks awesome. I am so happy with it. It looks great. You can see the black flies are out in full force. I don't really see any mosquitoes just yet, but the black flies are definitely out. You know, let me take a closer look to the roof. Come a little closer here. So that's it. And I'm pretty happy with it. Looks, looks great. Good color goes with the camp. I'm very happy with it. He finished the, uh, I think he finished on Thursday with it. He gave me a call. So I was going to come up here sometime in the afternoon here on Saturday anyways. So I can turn on the water finally. I brought the stuff that I needed to complete it. But I'll take a walk around a little bit here. I'm going to try to... Try to get the lawnmower started maybe probably tomorrow or late this afternoon. We'll see what time permits. But in the meantime, I'm going to get the stupid black flies. <laughs> I am going to uh, open up the plumbing box and I am going to. I'm going to get the water working. I got to connect what I need to connect up in the uh, shower. So I brought the valve with me this time and going to install it so I can turn on the water so I have some water tonight so I'll be back in a bit let me go inside just go inside to see what's going on Get all right all right I just turned the light on Yeah, nothing's changed in here. All right, all right. I'm gonna be back in a couple of minutes. I'm gonna um, unload my truck, bring my things in, and I'll show you what else is gonna be going on in here. And as you can see, the smoke detector is still going off. I may have to go up there and maybe disconnect it. I may need another one. Or there may be, be dust in there, I don't know. But I, I can't sleep like that tonight. Not with that damn thing going off all night. So I'll be back in a bit. This is the right way. Put this on hand tight. Okay, she's on. Yep. 
Okay. Take that out of there. I may have to get a wrench, we'll see. I think I'm okay. Well, now to turn on the water. I think I'm okay now. That's in. Okay, so far so good. Water's coming out. Get all the air out of the lines. Bathroom. Shower. Should be coming out a lot more than that. Water heater. I don't have the hot water heater on yet. It's basically just filling up. All right, I'll be back in a bit. We'll see how the rest of it's going. All right, I am back from the store. I went out for a while. I had to pick up a few things. Well, picked up some new batteries for the smoke detectors and needed those, but I also picked up some soup. Picked up a couple of cans of soup. Picked up some breakfast bars. I like these made, made good. I can't find them down in Massachusetts, but in New Hampshire, I found them at the Walmart. A few things, just a little bit of food for the camp. Some more snack breakfast bars. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, we double bagged them. Some more soup. Chunky vegetable. Chunky tomato bisque, Southwest, Southwestern vegetable. Never tried this one before. I like this, I like this brand, this Amy's Organic Soups. Very good. But the only canned soups that I really like are the other ones I do not like. And of course, I picked up some uh, cauliflower pizza, which I love. So we'll try this again. We'll put the pizza in the freezer. I mean, last time over the winter when we lost power, I, um, they all went bad, so I had to throw them out, but I, I think I'll be okay during the summer. There's just power really doesn't go out up here. That was my fault. During the winter time, I probably should have emptied everything out of there, knowing that we would eventually lose power from some of the storms. But let me put this stuff away, and then, um, I might probably start cooking something to eat. I was going to go down to my neighbor's house, but they're probably eating dinner right now, and I don't want to bother them. So, I'll be back in a minute. Let me put all this stuff away. And I'll be back.
Is still working. That felt good. It is a ringing. <clears throat> um, yep. Both batteries changed. Good. No more beeping. Maybe I can sleep tonight. Finally. <clears throat> Tonight's dinner. A sweet and sour rice bowl. Yeah, a quicker dinner. Just microwaved it. It's the one I had up here from last time. Gotta be quick, fast. I like these. I'll have this for dinner tonight. I didn't really feel like making anything. Didn't really bring much up here with me. So I will have this for dinner. I've had it before at home. Very, very tasty. I like it a lot. So, it's about 7 o'clock. A little bit past 7. Thought I'd eat inside tonight that are on the porch. It's getting a little cool outside. So. Mm. Very good. Well, let me finish the rest of my dinner here. If you want to call it that. And um, I'll be back in a minute or so. Be back in a couple of minutes after I'm done with it. You know, see what I'm doing around here for tonight. Maybe I'll listen to some music, maybe some TV. But it's starting to get dark out now. The sun's going down pretty quick, so I figured I'd just sit in and relax a little bit, have something to eat, and see what's going on for tonight. Probably not that much. Well, I'm back. I, I just had some dinner. Uh, earlier, I was down to my neighbors and um, went to see them for a little bit to say hello. You know, I paid him for the job that he did on the roof. He talked for a while and um, came back here. I had made myself a quick little dinner and um, <clears throat> kind of just chilled out, watched a little bit of TV, whatever it was on. But um, I think I'm going to relax for the rest of the night. And I'll probably just uh, maybe watch the basketball game. I think the Celtics and the Cavaliers are on. So I'll watch a little bit of that. And I'll just take it easy. And tomorrow I'll probably get the writing mode started. I'll do a few little projects around here before I leave in the morning. So I don't know, don't know how long I'll be up here for. Maybe, maybe 11, 12 o'clock noontime around there. But... Um, good night, everyone, and I'll see you tomorrow for breakfast. Morning, everyone. May 12th. Sunday morning. Uh, it's just a little after 5 o'clock in the morning. Woke up a few minutes ago. I come outside here. It's about 38 degrees. Kind of a cool morning out there, out here. Sun's just coming up. Pretty much a cloudy day, but you just see a small slip of, of the uh, sun coming up. Very quiet. Let's see what I got to do today. I think I'm going to go inside and make some breakfast. Um, I think I've got a little cleanup to do here if it doesn't rain. I think the weather, the forecast. Oh, I don't know what that was, some type of bird. <laughs> well, anyways. <laughs> um... Go inside and make some breakfast, I think. Um, maybe.
sleepy sit on the porch with a cup of coffee before I start uh, doing some work out here. Like I said, the weather report is uh, calling for some scattered showers here and there, but maybe I could, uh, I'd like to put the uh, battery in the riding mower today, put some fresh gas in it, get the thing started at least. I think the next time I come up here, I'll probably have to cut the grass. Uh, I think I'd like to clean up down there a little bit, get rid of the saw horses in the back and uh, clean up the brush and pile of leaves out of there and maybe take out the uh, leaf, the leaf blower. Maybe get some of these leaves out of here. Got the cart over there, got full of leaves. I'll definitely have to, uh, I'll have to put my boots on for that. Uh, spray myself down so I don't get any ticks. But, uh, anyways, very quiet, very quiet. Well, the good news is, uh, the bird hasn't returned on, above the door. So, kind of happy about that. I guess the screens are working. Um, if time permits, I would like to put up the moldings inside the screen house, uh, the screen porch there. Mm -hmm. To do that, uh, we'll see what happens. Looks good. The green roof looks good with the camp. It really does. I'm pretty happy with it. Did a great job on it. I may or may not have to move the lights. We'll see. I don't I don't think I do though, but I think one on the end. They all worked last night. I tested them out just to see if that little bit of an overhang made a difference in the uh, lights coming on or not. But uh, they do work, they work fine. One of them didn't work on the end for some odd reason. I don't know why. I may have to adjust the uh, uh, the light a bit so it can hit the, so the sun can hit the uh, little, little solar panel on top of it. I may have to do that, but that's not, that's no big deal. So anyways, let me, I'm gonna go inside. So I'm making some coffee and I'll make a little bit of breakfast for myself. So I'll meet you in a bit. Well, I guess I'm going to have to do this all over again. <laughs> uh, I guess I had the mic off. I just tested the last clip to see if it actually had sound, which I probably should have tested in the first place. But there was no sound, so I'm going to have to do this all over again. <laughs> uh, well, let's see now. Let's, where was I? <laughs> Well, I'm just having coffee, having the rest of my coffee here. Thought I'd take coffee out on the porch this morning. This may be a different clip than I just told you. I'll try to do my best to repeat it, to repeat to you what I said. <laughs> this time with sound. 
Well, I'm up here for the rest of the morning here. I think um, i got some stuff around here to do. Um, well, I'm kind of glad that I, I went with my neighbor doing the roof, although it's not the commercial grade roof that I got that I was going to get from the uh, other company that I was going to have done in Maine here. They quoted me a price of eleven five to do the metal roof complete. Yeah, my neighbor did it for thirty five hundred with labor and materials, which I thought was a, I went with that price. Although the uh, although the metal is a little bit thinner, I don't mind. I think it'll just be just be just fine. I think the company quoted me. Uh, they quoted me a quote online to do the job. Um, I think the metal they were going to use was a 24 gauge, was was which was pretty pretty thick. It was a really good grade steel, and they were going to give me like a 35 year warranty on the on the fade on fadeness. Probably that's why it was so much money. It's just a little bit out of my price range. So my neighbor originally quoted me four thousand for the roof, but I I think he got a deal on the material, so. He saved me about five hundred, so it was about thirty five hundred. And um I think it's a twenty eight twenty eight gauge metal. Which is a little bit thinner you know, a little bit thinner, but um, you know something? I, I had to go with that price. It was what I could afford and then you know something, I think it'll be just fine. I don't know how long it'll I'm sure I'll get many years out of it without it fading. I mean it is what it is, you know. So I think I got a great deal on that. That was something very important that I really wanted to get done. I just did not want to get on that roof anymore. And uh, I think it was a major thing that I did here this year on the camp. You know, they, my neighbor that had done it had done another camp here in Maine. I guess he did a lot of work for this woman. And he kept going back and forth, back and forth to her cabin. And she, uh, I guess she kept changing her mind on the color of the roof and and just different interior work that she wanted done. I guess he did a lot of work there. But uh, I guess he finished that roof up and then he came right over to here. I, I didn't think he would do it this quickly. I thought maybe he'd wait at least another month, but he did it during the week. I have some clips of him on the... Um, on the trail cams of him doing it. If I can get it uploaded, I will include that in this video of him and his pot, you know, him and the, uh, the friend of his. Still talking about a shed. I was talking to my neighbor yesterday. I went to visit him when I went to go pay him for the roof. Um, it's a guy down the road. That's a sawmill. He also sells, his wife also sells the CBD dog treats. So I went over there and I, before I came here, and I kind of just talked to him out in the yard. He was out there anyways, uh, cutting cutting wood on the, um, on the mill. <laughs> and he had a couple of sheds there. He made two little six by sixes and he was asking, he was asking 2,500 for them. That did not include delivery. He has somebody else that he sub, you know, that you call that will do it. I don't know. I'm figuring this guy that will deliver them and set it up. It's just basically dropping it off with a flatbed and leveling it with, you know, pavers or whatever. I don't know what this guy would charge. Five hundred to a thousand, maybe. Seven hundred. I I don't know. So that that little tiny shed could possibly cost three thousand. There's a there's another company here in Maine that I could get a bigger a bigger shed for probably the same money. Delivered and set up. But I was talking a little bit about talking a little bit about it with my neighbor. He was telling me, gee, I, I see no more than a thousand dollars worth of material in labor in that thing. Well, I don't know if the I don't know if that other guy that was at that 
place at the at that house where he has that sawmill. I don't know if he was just. And I I realize he's gonna make money too. He was telling me there's at least fourteen hundred dollars worth of lumber in these things that go together. So he's not gonna make a little bit of money on them. But I think my my neighbor right down the road here. He had said something. Would you would you uh, consider adding on to the other one? I was and I said to him, Oh, absolutely, I would do that. He goes, Well, maybe maybe we can make that happen when I have a little bit of time. I'm finishing up a couple other jobs on the side. He goes, Maybe I can do that for you. All. And I would totally do it. I don't know what it would cost materials and labor. I figured maybe a thousand to fifteen hundred to extend that. Maybe maybe I don't know. He knows a lot of the prices up here, and he's really good on the labor, and he's got the time to do it. It's stuff I just don't have time to do. I don't know how to put a metal roof up. I never did it before. I know, and I've seen people online do it. I've seen people on other channels do it. How do I know they're doing it correctly? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> that's something I don't want to fool around with. I mean, that's all I need, to do it myself, Put it up there and find out that the damn thing is leaking inside with, with the first rainstorm. I don't know. I mean, it looks easy enough. It's, but it's a lot of labor involved. It, it's just I just don't have time to do it. I just don't. And the whole idea about coming up here is to get away from the city during the week. Come up here and relax at least a little bit. I, I did not want to have a place where I came up here and constantly work. This work, there's enough work to do around here anyways. There really is, especially outside. There's always something to do out here. And I, I think I'd rather pick small projects around here to improve the property. I was even looking, I, I even saw a place on the way up here in New Hampshire on the way up here to Maine that sold saunas. I, I may or may not stop in there on the way back. It's, it's right on the way back. I, I, I've seen them. They're small little saunas. Now, I have, if I had mentioned that to my neighbor, he, he would automatically tell me, because I can do that for you. <laughs> All I have to do is take a picture of it. He'd look at it because I can easily make that. So I'm still kicking around this stupid idea about the damn sauna. <laughs> <laughs> it seemed like I'm obsessed by it. <laughs> uh, I think they're the simple things in life. I really do. It'd be nice to have one here somewhere. A, a small one. A really small one. There's a couple places I could put it. <clears throat> I was even talking about... I, I had mentioned in a couple of videos ago about putting the... Uh, Wildflower garden over by the uh, over by where the well is, but that that could be done any time. I've got the seeds that can be done any time, either this year or next year or whatever. I, I like to see what I can do around here this year. And this year and the metal roof was one one of the big things I wanted to do, and I think the shed. I, I wouldn't mind doing those two projects this year. Getting them done up here between the shed and, and the metal roof, which is already done. But that's something I really like to have done this year up here. Maybe next year I can talk to that guy about the about a sauna. Maybe he can build me one if I show him a picture of it. He's that type of guy. Oh, yeah, I can do that. <laughs> uh, there's a different breed of people up here. They really are. They're very friendly. They'll help you in any possibly possible way they can. You know, people from the city, like I am, it's just in their DNA. They automatically think they got a defense mechanism in them, and it's just, you just can't help it. Well, what are these people after? They're not after anything. If they can do something for you, they will. That's just how they are up here. They're very friendly. They all know each other. People know I'm up here, even if they don't even see me, see me coming up. They know I'm up here. Not that I have a lot of neighbors. I've got three neighbors up here, and they're all pretty much far apart. The first 
the first two neighbors on the other end of the property, about a quarter of a mile away from me. I mean, it's walking distance, but my the neighbor that I am really friendly with is right down the road here. He's maybe about, I don't know, a couple thousand yards away. Yeah, maybe about 1,500 to 2,000 yards away. Not, not, not that far. Definitely walk there. But, well, I don't think I'm going to, I don't think I'm going to do anything inside the screen, screen porch this morning. It's a little bit too cool. I wanted to put, I got some uh, one inch Gorilla tape that I found in one of the stores. I would like to put it in between the seams just to close them up a little bit more from the bugs coming in. I think it would work perfectly in here, but I think it's just a little bit too cool. I want it to be warm enough so I can get it uh, get it on there really good so it can stick on there, so it can stay on there before I even put the moldings up to keep the uh, to keep the sides from blowing around. But even that's a little bit debatable. I may or may not put those on. I, I'd like to. I just don't want it to look stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I think it would be okay, though. That's the only reason why I cut the moldings to put on on the sides of the uh, porch, just to prevent any any wind from blowing these things around. But I don't think we get a whole lot of wind up here during the summer. I I gotta think about it. But I mean, putting the tape on there is something I I think I need to do. Basically, just to be fine. Screens just basically have to be fine tuned a little bit, but it's up there. I got, I have I have it up, and I'm pretty pretty happy with the moldings that I put up on top and on the side. I think it looks awesome. You can't even see it. It it almost looks like it belongs there, and that's kind of what I was going for. But anyways, we're already up to about maybe 13 minutes on this clip. I think if I can read it correctly, yeah, a little bit over 13 minutes. I think I ranted enough, but I'm gonna have my. I'm gonna finish the rest of my coffee. I'm gonna go inside. I'm gonna see what I'm gonna do for the day. I'm gonna most likely put my boots on so I don't get wet out there on the grass. Spray myself down a little bit with some tick spray, and I think I'm going to uh, clean up some of the brush out there. Maybe get the leaf blower going a little bit later, not just now. It's a little bit too early. I don't want to wake anyone up, even though I'm far away from the neighbors. I'm sure they could hear me with that damn thing going. <laughs> so it gets a little bit late. I'll probably, if it doesn't rain, I'll probably start leaf blowing, but I'm going to, I want to get the battery in the mower. I want to get that thing running, take the rest of the gas out of there. I brought a siphon pump up with me. You can get rid of some of the brush I got here. I kind of almost wish I had a, a burn pit. I don't have a, nah, whatever. We'll, I'll figure it out. <laughs> but anyways, let me, uh, let me get going inside. I think I've talked enough out here this morning to you. So I'll be back in a bit and you'll be seeing, I'll show a few clips of what I'm doing outside. Nothing too long, I hope, that the, you know, just the basic general stuff I'll be doing around here. So I'll be back. Well, for the last couple hours, I'd just been screwing around out in the yard. I didn't record anything because it was pretty boring. I um, I got the lawnmower going. Actually running pretty well. Filled it with fresh gas. <clears throat> running pretty well. Kind of small little, just a small little patch of grass here just to test out the blades. The blades work amazing. cut down all the tree, most of them that were hanging. 
cut them up into a small brush pile and into some bigger, uh, bigger limbs. Still got that to tend with. Still got a patch of leaves over there to uh, take care of. Okay, what else? Yeah, um, I put some of the reflective markers in all the big holes so I don't step on them and break my ankle. Just just so I know where they are until I can get some uh, get something up here to fill. Find some fill around here. Um, I'm seriously thinking about making a burn pit. Maybe, I don't know where, maybe around here. Maybe somewhere where there's no grass, where there's just a lot of dirt, where I can just dig it out a little bit and got plenty of rocks to put around it, that's for damn sure. I'm seriously thinking about that. I could either put it over here or maybe over here. We'll see, I don't know. <clears throat> got some of the wind chimes out. It's kind of a mess around here. Here's something I didn't really discover. I've never known before. I'll be damned if these things right here come a little closer. Let's see if we can find some. Here we go. I'd be damned if those things are not fiddleheads. focus but yeah I got fiddleheads here it's a short season for these things they come out in the early spring and a lot of people use them in salads and you can make soup with them too I've never had them but I definitely have them here they're uh, they're native to Maine I'm sure they're all over North America <laughs> But I got I got I got a ton of them here. I got a lot of them. I'd say about another couple of days they'd actually be ready to pick. They're almost ready to pick now. So that's kind of what I did here this morning. I kind of just cleaned up some of that those tree limbs that were cut off. I still got I still got that one to tend to. I don't know if you can see it or not. It's bending. And I have. I have this one to, to maybe cut. I may have to do that with a pole saw with a ladder. I have to be very careful. That's a that's a that's a big one. I'd have to try to get up as high as possible. I'm not sure if I'll get a chance to do it today. Probably not. But I may work on the screen house for a little bit. It definitely warmed up. It's in the 50s now. So it's definitely warm outside now. So I may start cleaning up around here a little bit and work on the screen house a little bit and then maybe call the day. We'll see. I might come up here next weekend if I can get a chance. We'll see. This kind of bothers me. I've, I've got to get rid of this stuff. And I know some people are going to say, just throw it back into the woods. And you're right. I could do that. But where? <laughs> I don't want to kill myself going in there. I may have to. I may. Have to, I may have to do just that. I used to have a nice little path over there going in, but as you can see, a lot of it's filled in with um, branches now. I used to have a nice little path. That that stupid thing. I got to take that thing apart. Either that or put it back together again. And of course, this I got to tend to this. There's more wood. I got to split up. It's just, I just don't have enough time. Just not enough time up here, you know. And I have no idea if there's an owl in there or not. And you know something? Black flies are starting to get to me. I got a lot of junk around here. I got to straighten out, get rid of. I, I got to figure it out. Yeah, definitely. Got that screen there. I got. I got. There's a lot of stuff I got to screw around with here. Like, you know, I came up here late afternoon. I mean, that's I, Saturday was kind of a was kind of a waste. You know, couldn't really do anything late. You know, late afternoon and all. 
But uh, it's actually a nice day. It turned out to a beautiful day. It was a really cloudy, murky start this morning, but you know, it's 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 partly cloudy up here. The sun's trying to peek through here and there. Um, yeah, it's actually gorgeous out. But well, let me get back to work. I'm not going to show any. I won't show any. I won't show any more recording of just the stuff I'm walking around and putting away that's kind of boring. <clears throat> but I thought I'd just tell you what I was doing out here. I could have probably shown a little bit of footage of cutting down some of those limbs up there, but yeah, that's all right. But anyways, I'll be back in a bit. I got a few things to put away and to straighten up. You know, I just hate things all over the place, which they are right now. So let me try to straighten up a little bit and I'll be back in a bit. Well, it's about noontime. I think I'm done for the day here in the yard. Um, did quite a bit. Got rid of the saw, saw horses in the back. Pretty much cleaned, this, cleaned up this entire area. Got a cart full of brush. I brought a bunch of it up the driveway and I dumped it in the woods. So I got rid of the leaves and the other trees that I cut down that were in the background that you saw that were that I cut down. I did a quickie, quickie mow with the uh, uh, riding mow. I still got a lot more to cut. I kind of just went around it really quick, fast. Just give it a really kind of once over. But I got quite a bit done here this afternoon. I didn't expect to stay here this long, but I, I, I think I had to. I don't, I don't mind because I, I cleaned up the area a little bit, which it was kind of bothering me a lot. You know, those two big piles plus the new, the new pile I had with all that brush that I cut from the trees that were leaning and stuff like that. I'll take care of that brush next time I'm here. Yeah, what else? It's, that's about it. Um, the only other thing I did, I didn't do anything with the screens. I think I'm. I think next time I come up here, I'll just leave the tape up here. Um, I put. I just, I just put a couple uh, lights, the flame lights, in, in the front where I got the uh, little baskets there. Took the ladders out of there. Pretty much cleaned up the porch inside there. Took the two ladders and put them in the shed. Basically, that's it. I kind of just cleaned up the area. I did what I kind of wanted to do, even though I was, I'm up here a lot longer than I expected. I wanted to leave around 10, 30, 11 o'clock, but I mean, that's okay. But anyways, I think I'm gonna go inside and clean up a bit, see if I have anything here for lunch, and then I'll come back and say goodbye. Well, everyone, it's about that time to leave. It's around almost one o'clock in the afternoon. I'm going to get going. I would like to thank everybody for watching this weekend. And please like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time I come up here. Thank you.